Hi guys, welcome back to the Humble Gamer channel. I am the Humble Gamer, and this is a game called This War of Mine. Now, it's quite an old game. Many of you might have played it, and uh, it looks very, very good. I'm intrigued by the art style, pardon me. I'm intrigued by the art style, and I am intrigued by just the whole feel of it. It's a survival game, for those of you that don't know, it's a survival game without the zombies. You're in a war-torn country. So we're going to go for another try. It says another try. Just to clarify, I've only tried this game very, very briefly. I didn't get very far at all. So just so I could get some sort of head space. We're going to go with... Uh, so we've got Katia, Bruno or Pavle. Or Pavle, Bruno and Marco. We're going to go with Katia, Bruno and Pavle. And we're going to see how far we can survive. I don't know how long this playthrough is going to be. Um, but it's going to be. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. So let me get my timer up and running. So here we go. On day one. Fuck the war. Nice. Okay. So we're in a house. This is good. We have some sort of stuff. This is always positive. Right, so who have we got? Who's my team? What's it going to tell me? What's it going to tell me? What's it going to tell me? When the Civil War broke out, many people thought that it would only last a couple of weeks. It's been years since government military surrounded the rebels in the capital, cutting off all the supply lines. The civilian population trapped in the city are suffering from hunger, disease and shelling. Katia met both Pavle and Bruno before the war. She used to be a reporter, while Bruno had his own television cooking show. Pavle was the star of the local football team. Katia even interviewed him once. Now they meet in dramatically different circumstances, looking for food and shelter. Well, they seem to have shelter at the very least. Right, so Katia's got bargaining skills. Bruno is a good cook and slightly sick. And Pavle is a fast runner. Right, so what we're going to do first is we're going to go through the house and see what... All these things are. Can I scavenge this? Yes, lovely. Grab all. We've got some food. Oh, good. This is good. This is good food to start with. That's positive. I mean, raw meat, but... You know, meat is meat. Okay, what's in here? I can force the lock open with my tools. Right, okay, so you can't force the lock open with your tools, because you keep telling me you can't, despite the fact that you tell me you can. Let's scavenge this stuff. Grab all. Cool. Right, so no, no, no. The rubble's blocking the way. It will take a while to pick through. Right. You pick through the rubble. You are going to do this level of the house, Pavle. There's nothing useful in here, apart from there's this. And then there's rubble upstairs, which means that Bruno is going to be left to his own devices for a little bit. Let's go up, shall we? Yeah, so you pick through that rubble, you're picking through that, which means that you, being slightly sick, go out there safely. Okay, cool. Let's see what's on this level. What's in here? And then hopefully we can build something. Of course, cool, so we've got some herbs and we've got some food. We've got a piece of food anyway. It's nothing much, but it's something. Right, what can we make? What have we got? We can make a bed. We can build a heater. And we can build a radio. Ah, oh, right. We can also build a stove. And a metal workshop and a rainwater collector. Oh we've done we've got we've done quite well then, so right, okay, let's build a stove. Place it down there. Because I think this room is going to be the sort of living roomy kind of place. 
Right, you're nearly through that bit of rubble, Katya, but you're going to go through the next one in a second as well. So you get picking through that rubble. So he's doing that. He's nearly through that rubble. That's cool. He's nearly built the stove, which is always good. We're going to need some... And certainly if I can build a couple of beds as well. Yes, you're going to need fuel. We do have some water at the very least. Okay, cool. So if you climb up there, I want you also to build at least one bed. And probably a rainwater collector if I can. Where should we make the bedroom? So that's that. He's got through there finally. Good. So we can now scavenge this to parlay the fast runner. And grab a few more things. Lovely. And now you can start on. Beautiful. Good. So you've got through there. Nice. We're getting to about halfway through the day. So you can try and move the rubble. So he's nearly finished building a bed. I want a couple of these. I want to make this this room we're in now. Yeah, what you can't see behind my head, by the way, is it says day one, there's a clock, and the temperature. Um, but I will be, uh, in, future video, in future videos, because I've just realised where it is, I shall be moving my camera. I won't do it now, because this game doesn't like to be tabbed out of. At all. It crashes mostly when you tab out of it. So, but I shall, um, I shall fix that in the next episode. Right now, Katia's got through there. It's locked. Ah. Okay then. So you've got bargaining skills. Okay. So if you dismantle that. Can we build a third bed? No, we can't, but we can still build a radio. We'll have that down there, I think. Right, so we're building a radio. That's good, so we can now actually listen to things. Catch yet? You've... No, thank you. I want to do that. Thank you. So, yeah, like I said, I don't know how long this game is going to be. It's just... It's... It's obviously a very serious and dark game, but it is a survival game, and I like... I do like the look of it. And basically, the one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go until... I'm going to keep going until, it, uh, you know, there's some cataclysmic event, i.e. one of us dies. Um, or perhaps all three of the original die. Bruno, Pavle... Oh, Pavle's finished up there. Good. Loose planks, I can easily remove them. Do I get the wood from them? That would be nice if I could get the wood from them. Cool. Let me guess. Locked. Right, okay. But either way, we've made some progress. So, Pavle, what I want you to do is actually, Pavle, if you probably. Uh, right. You can probably have a sleep, Pavle. I've, ha I've had enough sleep. Okay, cool. Oh god, we need, we ha we can't make any f friggin' bugger. Right, okay. Uh, Pavle, you're t uh, Bruno. Sorry, you're tired. Do you fancy having a little doze? It seems quite safe here. Yes, he's recovering from being slightly sick. That's good. I make an improved workshop? No, I can't. Yes, it's getting towards night time. Which is where I'm going to send... Uh, Pavle's quite a quick run. I might send him. Let me guess, that's also locked. I could force lock if only I had tools. Right, okay. It's now night time. Right, so... Um, Pavle can carry 12 things. So can Katia. Um...
Right, so what am I going to do during the night? Right, so we'll go to the ghost house, I think. Some food, huge amounts of materials, lots of, amount, lots of meds, huge amounts of weapons, and lots of parts. We'll go there. Katya, I want you to stay on guard while he's asleep. You can sleep during the day, and I'll get Bruno to do most of the stuff tomorrow. So let's prepare and go. Yeah, I'm not going to take any of those things. I want to keep my backpack open, so let's go scavenge and just take what we can get and then get back home. It's deserted. I don't expect to meet anyone inside. Well, fingers crossed. That's the exit, okay. Quietly. Quietly. Nice and quietly. Because if you make sound, people tend to hear you. I'm not going to take the teddy bear. I don't need the teddy bear. Quietly. There's nothing obvious then. Let's... Because you probably can't see them under my face, but you've also got... You can look in your backpack and you can press B to run to the exit. Okay, what have we got here? Coffee, rolled up cigarettes, some food. Let's take the wood. Let's take the water as well, and some more materials. And we've got enough materials, I think, and components, drop that. We'll take the electrical stuff. I'm pretty much carrying everything I can think of. I think I can so far. Well, you won't get through that, that's fine. There's some red dots, which I think mean enemies, but... Gunpowder. What I need is a bigger backpack. That's what I fundamentally need. Yeah, it's just a rat. That's not an issue. I don't mind. I don't mind a rat. Oh, a fridge. Has, how much food has that got in it? Right. So we're going to put down the cigarette. And we're going to take the food. Oh, six clean water. Can I take that? Yes, I can. Let's take the clean water. Sugar, not too fussed about that. Let's put the parts away. We can come back and scavenge this another night. You know what? I'm quite happy with that, actually. Get yourself home, Pavel. I know it's early in the night, but get yourself home. And I think we've done pretty well, actually. Pavel, sorry, not Pavel. I actually genuinely think we've done pretty well there. You'll get no complaints from me. So we're into day two. Okay, now. Tonight I had a really good haul. Look what I got. Yeah, you got loads of stuff. You did really well. Tonight was calm. Pavel had been searching for supplies and brought some interesting things. Yes, he did. Right. Pavel is now... Sorry, Pavel is now tired and hungry. You're going to have a sleep first. Right. 
Bruno, I know you're slightly sick and recovering, but... She's been up all night. I know your stomach is rumbling. But what's going to happen is Pavle is going to cook you some food. Sorry, Bruno is going to cook us some food. You will manage to keep it warm, don't worry about that. Let's have a listen to the radio, shall we? The rebel leader instructed us to warn listeners not to cross the front line. Failure to comply could result in death. Right, so that's today's radio news. No, I need to make some actual fuel first, don't I? Sorry, I, I will go quiet during this game a couple of times. Ah. We can build some more stuff. We've got a stove. Let's build a heater. So you build that, and they will eventually wake up at some point, so... This is really good. I like this. I like this a lot. I like the style of it. I like everything about it. It's really, really nice. It's really nice. Right, so that's the heater built. Now we're going to build some fuel. And some of it's going to go some of it's going to go in the heater and some of it's going to go in the food in the stove so I can cook these guys a meal. Two in there. And then we're going to cook some food. Can I cook two meals? Oh, what well if I can make another consumable? Right, he's recovered from his sleep. He's Well, he's awake from his sleep. That's good. That means I can make three meals, which is good. You're hungry, but don't panic. Food is on its way. Food is very much on its way. You can all come down and have some food, and we'll probably leave this you grab one of the plates of food and then you Bruno can recover from being sick you can have another day of rest because we've got Pavle and we've got Katia who can do some work, but we shall do that in the next one. So either way, thank you ever so much for watching. I'm just going to pause this so time doesn't move ahead too far. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you are enjoying what you're seeing, please do like and subscribe. Check out the game in the description below. Check me out on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash HumbleGamer, uh, Twitter at HumbleGamerNews, and Instagram at HumbleGamer. 
Insta. Uh, also, check out in the description below the bxbgames.co.uk website uh, and their YouTube page as well. I do reviews for them. It's a good team. Uh, we all love our video games and we're just trying to get some reviews out there. Uh, they are video reviews and written reviews all on the website. Check it out down below as well as the YouTube page. Also, check out the annotations on the screen you're about to see. Thank you ever so much for watching. I was me. That was This War of Mine. See you very soon, guys. Goodbye. And a naked dude on top of a house. Bouncing down. Yeah. Hey guys. <laughs> yeah, hey Dave. <laughs> I'm gonna go hunt something. The thing about is Lord of Say the Wang Jesus. Wang Jesus. Wang Jesus!